Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. It was a good day for me. Uh, got off around. I had to go in early to let the dogs that were uh, uh, staying overnight, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I got off around 11, a little after 11 today. Uh, came home, had a shower, because when you work with dogs all day, you get like a grime over you. Anyway, just a long way of staying. I put this on. Just a little, a uh, little around 12 o'clock, a little bit before, a little after. Uh, today's scent is Jean Lo Ombre by Maison Alhambra. Uh, supposed to be a dupe of a Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so, yeah, I put this on and it's now. Jeez, if it's not 8 o'clock, it's a little after. And it's still going strong, but I'll get into the performance in a minute. Because, holy crap. Uh, definitely a performer. Um, so, how did I put it on? I wasn't sure how strong. I didn't think I was going to like it either. Which brings me to my first thing. This is one of those ones, again, where it's it's a skin. Put it on skin if you're going to test it. Because, on paper, for those of you who see my first impression, and I sprayed it again just to think maybe it was something. No, it smells like funky oud and cigarette smoke and ash not very uh not very nice if you know what i mean so anyway i was you know, i'll give it a try you know why why not and uh, i'm glad i did because it completely changes on skin and we'll get into that uh i put two in my moisturizer one two uh one on my chest shirt on one on my shirt one in each crank of the elbow and one and that was twice the amount i needed Holy God, was it ever. Um, I could have got away with one in the moisturizer, one on the back of the neck, shirt on, one on the shirt, and I would have been fine. Um, but that was too much. But, I mean, sometimes you just don't know. And this one I wasn't sure about. So, now I know. Uh, first spray, I'm hit with this raspberry-like uh, incense and oud. It's a light oud. Um... You know, it's not a super oody scent. Uh, I don't know if Louis Vuitton is, which, like I said, I'll get into in a minute. Um, and that's pretty potent for the first 20 minutes, half hour. And then and then after that, keeps all that, of course, the raspberry and scents of oud and whatnot. But a, uh, a nice leather and wood mix uh, starts to come out. And it's really nice, like I said, with that raspberry, oud, and incense combo. And, uh, and that's into the mid. You know, you're into the mid now. You're starting to get into the mid. The oud takes a bit of a back seat to another wood or woods. I'm not sure what wood. I'm thinking something like a Gayak wood. It kind of smells Gayak woody to me. But there's another wood in there. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I don't think it's cedar. I mean, it could be sandalwood, but there's no funkiness or creaminess. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the oud. Could be patchouli, too. It's a possibility. Um, and this amber-like sweetness, uh, kind of resinous sweetness starts to come out. Again, all the while, the leather and incense are still kicking pretty good. You know what I mean? So, uh, the dry down... I'm just starting to get to it now, and what I've noticed is uh, most of the oud and the raspberry and stuff like that is gone. There's still a hint of the incense, uh, but mostly it's this nice leather, wood, uh, and vanilla combo. Uh, very nice, very nice. I mean, I've only been there for maybe a half hour, so that still might change later on. But, uh, yeah, so basically it's it's... It's a woody leather, smoky sweet scent. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what you're getting. And uh, it's very nice, very nice. Like I said, on my skin, it completely changed it on that paper. I was worried on that paper, but on my skin, it's it's very nice. Um, <laughs> which brings me to performance. Like I said, I've had it on for about eight hours, maybe a little more, and I'm just starting to get to not even the fire dry down yet where it's still radiating off my skin a couple inches and it's changed like i said into that leather and incense and uh 
Vanilla like sweetness. Yeah. Jesus, nice. Um, so basically, I can only give you the performance for the last eight hours because this is going to last longer than that because the first two and a half, three hours are decent projection. Uh, an arm's length, if not more, out there. It comes in, gives you this big bubble. I mean, you're getting whiffs and wafts and leaving a trail and, oh, my God, for like five hours. And that's pretty much where I'm at now. Like I said, the starting to become, I wouldn't quite call it a skin scent, but sitting pretty close, like I said, four or five inches off the skin. Um, and it's just gorgeous. It really is. I mean, I, I generally don't. It's my kind of scent, though. Um, I like woody, smoky scents. Leather, I don't generally like, but for some reason in this, I do. Uh, I think it's because it's more of a woody leather. It, it's just really nice. Um, so let's get on to Louis Vuitton. Is it a dupe of? I have no freaking idea. And I'm never going to know. Um, I shouldn't say never. If I ever found it cheap, I would. But I'm not spending that kind of money on a designer fragrance. I don't care. You can say it's niche all you want. It's designer. Shouldn't be any more than a couple hundred bucks at most. Uh, so yeah. And there's no store around here that sells them that I can go. Now, maybe next time when I go to Montreal, I'm sure I can get I can test it there. Um, but I have no plans to go to Montreal or Toronto or anything anytime soon. I do want to go back here in the next couple of years, but it'll be at least that long. So by that point, there'll be something else, right? Um, but what it does remind me of is uh, a Tom Ford ombre leather. It's got that raspberry and that leather and that woods it's kind of more of a woody oody version of tom ford ombre at least to my nose um it's in that same vein anyway they might not be identical of course well they aren't identical but it's kind of like they're on the same team not even on the same team they're in, you know you've got one guy up at bat and then the other guy's waiting in the batting box i mean that's how close i find them um i do find this a little better than that the leather's a little better to my nose and mixing with that vanilla and amber and the whatever woods they're using in it and the oud it's very nice very nice and this isn't an oudy scent truth be told i get more of the gayak wood and the other wood than i do oud um wood or patchouli gayak wood and patchouli maybe um because i don't get a lot of oudness it's there you can smell it but it's not an oudy scent if you know what i mean um so yeah like i said at the end of the day it's a slightly sweet Oody, woody, and leather, amber, vanilla fragrance. Uh, smoky. Some good smokiness off the start. And it never really goes away. Like I said, I'm going into the eight, eight and a half hour mark. And it's still got that smoke vibe. So, I mean, it's died old self back, of course, quite a bit. But it's still there. So, that's the best I can give you for performance. Which, I mean, ain't bad. It's eight plus hours right now. And um, it's still going strong. So, I imagine you'll probably get... An hour or two of that bubble, that, that soft bubble, and then it'll probably be a decent skin scent for a couple hours and then gone. Um, so you're probably looking at 11, 12 hours, maybe even 13. Uh, I know on my clothes, it's definitely going to be that long because I, I sprayed on my shirt and not this shirt. I was wearing a work shirt and man, you could smell it when I took it off and I walked by the hamper not a half hour ago in, in the washroom and that's all I can smell in the washroom. That's from one or two sprays, I can't remember, one or two, and it's just potent, so, yeah, so if you like wood, incense, slightly spicy, too, there's some spice in there, sweet vanilla, amber-like fragrances with a good dose of leather, give this a shot, um, if you don't, again, it's not going to change your mind, it's, it's a Middle Eastern type scent, like, for sure, um, and if that's not your jam, don't even bother, but if you if it is, give it a try. And if you like Tom Ford Ombre Leather, it's kind of like that with a twist. You might like it, so why not, right? All right, guys, uh, no compliments, but I didn't go anywhere today. Like I said, it's I got off work, came home, blah, blah. but I Tom Ford Ombre Leather has got me compliments. I imagine this will get me compliments just as easily. Um, a masculine scent, too. I normally don't. I can, though, you know, women, you wear what you want. I don't care. But I would definitely classify this as masculine. Maybe even a little bit of a 
mature vibe with the woods and the leather giving it a bit more of a it's not a modern fuzzy amber wood sweet kind of scent bubble gummy not at all uh but my kind of scent so i really like it so you might you might not all right guys peace love be good to each other and be good to yourselves